hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you how to transfer your pattern pieces from a piece of paper to card to um a poster board i had got the poster board from dollar tree and then i get the little rings like this from dollar tree and the hole puncher i also got from the dollar store so the first thing you do is you print out your size and if you need to tape your pieces together, you go ahead and tape it. The pattern piece that I'll be doing today is the Big Noggin Baby, the Bummies. And a lot of times, a lot of pattern pieces that you buy online, it comes with a test square. What you want to do before you print out all your pattern pieces, you want to take your test square and then you want to make sure that your test square is the correct size. And then after you make sure it's the correct size, you go ahead and print all your pieces out. So when you print them all out, if they need to be taped, you tape them together. If not, like this one, you don't, I didn't have to tape nothing together. I'll just go ahead and trace along, I'll trace the whole pattern out onto the poster board. And then when I get done tracing it, I'll make sure I write all the stuff that's on here that make sure that you got the back piece to cut on the fold, the fold, and the grain line and the company that is from if you use more than one company make sure you put the company that the pattern goes to so you can know that this um pattern goes to that so after i do all that i don't sometimes i don't put the grain line because that confuses me i'll put a st is for the stretch so i know that this way has to be the one with the most stretch so that's what i do and then i'll put the um I also put the size. Make sure you put the size of it so you can know what size that you're trying to, um, what size you need to use. So put the, if it's the front or the back, if you cut on the fold or if you mirror the image, you want to make sure. And then if it has a fold, you want to make sure you label the correct side for the fold. And then you also make sure you put the size in the company with the, um, the company of the pattern and also what the um, thing is. So after I do all that, I, um, after I trace all around and then I'll cut to the next side and do the same thing until I get done with that. And then I just get my hole puncher and punch holes in the corner of all, all the um, pattern pieces. And then I'll just put it on the ring and then I'll have all my pattern pieces on this. So whenever somebody just asks for a size, I'll just go and get the size that I need instead of looking through my pattern pieces and figuring out or having to print a new one out. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. This is was help for me if I um especially if you do a lot of kids clothing, this will come in handy. But with the adult size, it will be hard because their um pattern pieces are bigger. So if you um do a lot of kids size, I definitely recommend doing this. It, it is time consuming, but it will save you time in the long run. So thank you again for watching this video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it and helping me reach my goal to 1,000 subscribers. Once I reach my goal to 1,000 subscribers, I will start sending the, some of the pieces that I make in a video. I will start picking one of you guys and making something for you and sending it to you just for um, subscribing to my um, channel. Thank you again and make sure you have a good day. Bye.